Some more examples, we have sine squared theta minus 1 divided by tangent theta. Okay, we have now sine squared theta minus 1 divided by, we have tangent theta. Common factor, so we have sine theta minus 1. Okay. We move along. This is a square of two difference of two squares. So we have sine theta minus one. Sine theta plus one divided by tangent theta multiplied by sine theta minus one. And this will become one. Then we have sine theta plus one divided by tangent theta which is equal to sine theta plus 1 divided by tangent theta. Okay, next time, next example, not next time. Um, this should be equal to 1. Okay, what could that be? Oh, 1 minus cosine, that is sine squared x. And then 1 minus cotangent, 1 plus cotangent. So we have sine, sine theta plus cosine theta is equal to 1. We need to have cotangent. So we have divide both sides of the equation by uh, sine, sine squared, sorry, it should be squared. Or else it's wrong. Okay, then this will become 1 plus this will become cotangent squared theta is equal to 1 divided by sine squared theta. Then this one now, this is equal to 1 divided by sine squared theta. And that one, this one, it should be. 1 is equal to 1. Okay. Some more. Maybe the last one. This is the last one. This is the last one. Yeah. Okay. Use algebraic techniques to verify the identities. If, if I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by cosine theta, then we have cosine squared theta is divided by 1 plus sine theta is equal to 1 minus sine theta. And then if I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation, 1 plus sine theta, then we have cosine squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine theta multiplied by 1 plus sine theta. Sum and difference of two terms, then we have cosine squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared theta. The difference of two squares instead. And we know that they are equal. These are equal. Okay. In my next video, then I will be discussing sum and difference identities. And then uh, to start with, maybe I will be giving you some proof why they, these identities are equal or they are identical that they are they are identical wherein we can use in solving trigonometric identities so see you there and thank you for watching have a nice day